trading options trading stock options i always hear people talk about this it seems really popular especially on instagram on social media in general um options is surprisingly very popular but the options i always see on social media that people are talking about is buying options i have not really dived into that too much um i've done a couple trades piggybacking off kirby but kirby i know you used to do this and you've told me your horror stories and that is why i don't buy options but um selling options is a very crazy way to make money um if you know what you're doing of course and we're gonna be talking about this topic up here exactly which is i used to strictly buy options and lose almost every time that's why i switched to selling options the strategies the way to make profit is totally different on the two i don't know if you want to go more into depth curvy on trying to explain it i might chop it up but i'll pass it over to you so maybe you can tell people your horror stories too <laughs> to, to avoid these issues happening yeah, uh, uh, so and like you said, on social media, it's always talking about buying options, buying options, buying options. If you want to buy options, and this is my view and a lot of people's view, if you're going to buy options, you might as well go to the casino, and because that's really what it is. I mean, the when you when you're buying options, it's like going to the casino. Yeah, sometimes you're going to hit and you might hit big, but if you add up the totality of the trades, usually you lose. If you're just buying directional options. You're buying a call or you're buying a put. It's a high probability you're going to lose. Now, of course, there is straddle strangles, uh, uh, cover spreads, all, all that other different uh, adage in there. But just buying directional, buying calls, buying puts, the probability of you hitting, having a high success rate is very minimal. Unless you're a su supreme chartist, a supreme strategist or something like that, it's not the way to go. And then you look at, if you look at the option market, like you look at the casino, the people that buy the option are the gamblers. Those are the patrons that go to the casino. The people that sell the options is the house and the house never lose over a long period of time. They never lose. And that's how you look at it. When I first started options, I never, I never forget my first trade. My first trade was around December time, like two weeks before Christmas time. This was years ago. And uh, I put on my first option trade and, you know, usually just Santa Claus rally is going on in uh, in December, January time frame. So I bought uh, call options on SPY. I turned like a two hundred dollar option trade to like twenty four hundred dollars or something. Eighteen hundred dollars in one trade. It was the trade was for two weeks. It uh, I was in and out of trade in three days. I thought I conquered the world. I thought I figured it out. And then so. I went buying I went buying options, buying options. I would hit sometimes, but then sometimes I would lose at a drastic effect. And I did this over time. I didn't blew up my options account plenty of times when I was buying directional options. And then even now, when people call me, especially new people to invest in, they they don't even know about ETFs and all this other stuff. They don't even have a baseline portfolio of stocks and things of that nature. I never went all out and went 100% into options. You know, I always had my, you know, 401ks, Roth IRAs. You know, I invested in my mutual funds. I invested in my uh, index funds and things like that. And then I had some singular stocks that I was building positions in. But I would have an account just for options, directional options. And, uh, and yeah, I blew up that account many of times. So when, when new people call me and then they talk about, yeah, I'm going to get into options and they talking about buying, I always would tell them, you need to sell options. Don't buy, sell. And then I said, be prepared. And I always tell them because nobody listens. Because, you know, social media has their brain just function. This is the way to make money. Can you make money buying directional options? Yes. But if you're not going to spend hours upon hours learning the strategies, learning the setups, and doing it and being religious to the rules that you have, then you're going to lose. And most people don't have that mentality, don't have that mindset to do it. And then usually about a week or two, you know, people, the same people that I told sale options, they they texting me telling me about all their wins. They're not telling me about their losses because I already know they have losses, but they're not going to talk about those. And then you'll just see them fall off the map. They won't say nothing. And then when they don't say nothing, they're not texting me. I know what happened. They blew up their account, but they're too embarrassed to talk about it. Me, I'm not embarrassed to talk about it. I blew up my options account 
when I was buying options at least five times. Blew up the account me, it went to zero. About five times. I never used margin so that I didn't have that issue of having to reload money into it. But then I learned selling options. And then the thing is, is if you have a high probability of losing by buying options, the person you're losing to is the person that you're selling options to. So why not just be the person that's selling options? So that's what I do. It's not the big bang for your buck, you know, getting the big, you know, four or five, six, seven, eight hundred percent increase if it hits. But you're getting your, you know, five, eight, 10, 12 percent on an option trade when you're selling it and you just do that consistently. You're going to win over time than the person that's going directional or the person that's buying going directional. And that's what I just started doing. I just added that into it. I think that's a big hack uh, for especially people that's invested in individual stocks. Uh, then if you invest in the dividend stocks, you're getting a dividend. So that's four times a month. And then you can uh, sell options weekly, you know, monthly, quarterly, however you want to do. And that's just adding an extra dividend payment to it. So instead of that, you know, three, four, five percent dividend payment, now you're compounding at a higher rate at 15 percent. And, you know, compound interest is the mother's milk of finance. So you're just adding more and adding more to it. Yeah, you don't get the big wins, but you don't talk about the losses a lot either. And then even when you on the wrong side of an option sale, when you're selling options, it's a way that you can just move move out the date, move out the strike price to give you more time for it to work without losing any uh, real capital. So that's the the truth of it. But you know, if I had one message to everybody that's out there, selling options is the the real hack on the stock market that most people don't talk about because it's not sexy, it's not cool, but it's win. Just like nobody want to talk about Warren Buffett's method of investing is not sexy, it's not hot but he's always winning. But people don't want that. People don't want to go through the long haul. They want that instant gratification. S excuse me. They want that instant gratification so they can get it right now. And then usually when you make the money quick, you can lose it quick. And for the most, most part, I want to say 80 to 90% of people that buy directional options, they blow up their account, but they just don't want to admit it because it drives more clicks, more views and things of that nature. Yeah, it's funny because looking at the people that have told me that they're trading or they're buying options and I've told them what I'm doing and they don't want to do that. They think it's boring. And then hearing the amount of losses that they've had comparing to the amount of wins I've had from selling options. It's like if they would have just waited and just taken the time to just sell the options, they would have <laughs> the money. But they're trying to like make it so quick. And they're wasting their time and wasting their money. And in the end, it's like the person selling options, just taking the slower route, the long term investing route or selling options route. They make more money. You remember when uh, COVID happens, right? And then yeah. the stock market went went down to, you know, that big drop ahead in March of 2020. Right. And then you saw people come out the woodwork with different, you know, stock and option videos on YouTube and everything. They was, they was, you know, if it can't stand the heat in the kitchen, uh, or, you know, you know, all those sayings and slogans yeah. they had out there. And you remember, I told you at the time, everybody's looking like they're a genius now because the market's going up. But you're gonna see all these videos. But then when the market don't act right, and you remember back in uh, what was it twenty uh, December of twenty one, when I said, hey, the Fed's about to start raising interest rates, the market's gonna go down. And then the market for 2022 went down for the whole year. All the videos left. I don't see, I used to see stock trading, option trading videos left and right when I cut on YouTube and social media. Now I rarely see those videos. Why? Because now they have to do work and the market is just not going up and they don't have the Fed put in there where the Fed will come save the stock market. They're gone. We're still buying stock we're still selling options we're still doing our thing we're like one of the only few channels that still talk about the stock market even now because now you know those guys was full of it the whole time they just look smart because they got a goldilocks moment in the market to make them look good but the truth is they're nowhere to be found now. but i remember telling you that at the height of it when everybody was out there i was like all this gonna go away <laughs> they just yeah. they look smart right now but it's all gonna go away and yet here we are yeah, and that's exactly what happened. But with all that being said, guys, uh, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe. 
leave us a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.